Natasha Lee Bordizzo may be a new face to many, but she's also set to be one of the hardest working actors of the coming year. After scoring her breakout role in the 2016 Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon sequel, she has gone on to nab roles in everything. From the blockbuster musical The Greatest Showman, to the Lord of the Flies-inspired Netflix series The Society, to the Star Wars TV series Ahsoka. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Natasha Lee Bordizzo. She has a background in Taekwondo. Born on August 25, 1994, Bordizzo trained in Taekwondo for five years. She started when she was 10 until her mid-teens and achieved her black belt Dan won in 2009. She told Vogue, My parents told me I'd either have to start martial arts or dance. I was always a tomboy, so of course I was like, martial arts, definitely. I'm not a ballerina, come on. She was almost a lawyer. Bordizzo wasn't always considered a career in acting. She told Al, I had no intention of being on camera. Not only did I have no intention, I had stage fright. I did drama in school, and the minute it wasn't compulsory, I think it was in year 9, I quit it right away. After graduating from Sydney Girls High School, she enrolled at the University of Technology Sydney to pursue a dual degree in law and communication. She was in her first year when she decided to drop out to pursue acting instead. She was scouted off the street for modeling. During her first year at university, Bordizzo was scouted at Sydney's Central Station. She told Vogue, my Sydney agent, who at the time wasn't my agent yet, had been semi-stalking me. She had emailed me, contacted me on Instagram, and finally accidentally bumped into me at Central Station when I'd finished my university lectures for the day. After convincing her to try out modeling, her manager then encouraged her to audition for the 2016 sequel, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Sword of Destiny, and landed the lead role. It was her first audition ever. Not bad for someone who claims to have stage fright. She originally auditioned for a supporting role in Crouching, Tiger, Hidden Dragon sequel. If Bordizzo's career beginnings have a fairy tale ring, so does the story of her first ever audition. After reading for a supporting role in the follow-up to the 2000 film Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, she got a surprise call the next day announcing that she'd landed the lead. She told W Magazine about the experience, stating, I had no idea what I was doing. I googled female monologues and set up an iPhone. I taped myself reading the scene from Brokeback Mountain with no reading partner because I didn't know anything where Michelle Williams is accusing Heath Ledger's character of cheating on her. To this day, I don't know why I chose this scene. A week later, she was on a plane to New Zealand to start filming. She was a body double on The Wolverine. She was a body double in Hugh Jackman's superhero film, The Wolverine. She told Elle, I was just plunged into a film set. Every day that I wasn't at university, I was just there. There was a lot of waiting, but I didn't mind because I had my own thing to do. I always had my books with me or my laptop. And then we'd be on again, so many people, so many different departments doing different things. She can speak Mandarin. Natasha Liu Bordizzo is Australian, having grown up in Sydney, and she's of both Chinese and Italian background. Despite being half Chinese, she was not so close to her Chinese side. What's more, she didn't even speak a word of Mandarin. But it all changed for her when she made her acting debut through the American Chinese movie Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Sword of Destiny. On being asked about her first ever breakthrough, she told MAAC, You know, honestly, I was quite cut off from it, because, being raised in Sydney, I was quite westernized. My mom is Chinese, but I think since doing this movie I have gotten more in touch with my Chinese side a lot more. I can speak Mandarin now. So before I did this movie, I was just like any typical Australian teenager. Now, she even did interviews in Mandarin. She gets this notification five times a day. Natasha Lee Bordizzo is going to die. She's reminded of this fact five times a day when her phone hums with a notification from the WeCroak app. The texts, which she often ignores, are based on the Bhutan philosophy that meditating on death will lead to a more holistic life. She told Bustle, My friends sometimes hold my phone while I'm driving, and then this text pops up, Don't forget, you're going to die. And they're like, Natasha, what the FCK? She underwent intensive training in Wudong sword fighting. For her role in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Sword of Destiny, Bordizzo underwent intensive training in Wudong sword fighting. She told Vogue, It was kind of terrifying because Master Yuan is, like, legendary. He choreographed Kill Bill, the first Crouching Tiger, and The Matrix. I had Taekwondo, but that was just so different from Wudong that it was like starting from day one again with the best choreographer in the world. It was pretty intense. 
I was in the Dujong from about 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., five days a week. We definitely got there in the end. She used to worry about imposter syndrome. She used to worry about imposter syndrome in Hollywood, but now Natasha Liu Bordizzo is a warrior. She may have only been on the scene since 2016, but she's absolutely held her own alongside some of the biggest movie stars, from Michelle Yeoh to Jamie Foxx. She told Harper Bazaar, I feel like less of an imposter now when I say I'm an actor. At first, it was such a wonderful but jarring shift to go from dropping out of law school and being thrust onto a film set. I felt like I was pretending to be an actor for a while, a little self-conscious that I didn't have the toolkit that those who went to acting school did. Over time, filming projects have been her acting school, and she feels more confident about everything, from selecting scripts that interest her, to meetings with creatives knowing the questions she wants to ask, to the filming process itself. She enjoys horseback riding, figure skating, and touch football. Bordizzo has taken a jack-of-all-trades approach to sports and, aside from martial arts, enjoys horseback riding, figure skating, and touch football.